Hi guys, welcome back. So we are doing a little wonky here. I don't know what's going on. Today in class we're going to be doing an experiment. We're actually going to be extracting the DNA from a strawberry. Now, it doesn't have too many supplies, so if you might have the supplies sitting around, you're more than welcome to try extracting the DNA strawberries on your own. But if by chance you don't have strawberries or rubbing alcohol, soap, water, salt, or strainer sitting around, you are more than welcome to watch this video. So this is our one last hurrah for biotechnology. On Wednesday, we're going to be doing an online review. So if you join me for the review session starting at 11, we're going to be going over the review together. I'll also put up uh, quizzes for you guys all to do too. But I've heard that the most helpful of the review sessions happen when you are live Zooming with me. Okay, I kind of go over what you need to know for the test as well as any uh, tips and tricks I might think of. So after watching, but back to today, after watching the video of the experiment or doing it yourself following along with the video, I would like you to answer these four questions in a text box. Uh, what does DNA stand for? Predict why we have to mush up the strawberries before we do this. Explain why the DNA does not look like a condensed X chromosomes that we learn about in mitosis and meiosis. And explain one way I could genetically alter the strawberry. So number four is kind of whatever you think. What's one way I could genetically alter it? Um, what might be something you could do, but also we learned about a couple of genetic modification techniques, some that were done traditionally, like selective breeding or crossbreeding, and some that are more modern, like CRISPR and um, the one. CRISPR and using a plasmid to uh, transfer the DNA. And then number two, I would also like you to highlight these and paste your answers. I want you to answer A, some things that you understood really well from this unit, and B, some things that you didn't understand so well from this unit. Okay, that's your assignment for today. And after that, go study what you don't understand. You can always rewatch the videos and then come ready to ask questions to the Zoom session tomorrow, or yeah, Wednesday at 11. Have a great day, guys. If you have questions, email me. If things aren't going well for you, email me. If this is your first tune-in lecture in a while, let's get back on it. Have a great day, guys. We're all over the place today. Can't find where the end button is. Great.